Meghan Markle put a foot wrong in her engagement photos with Prince Harry, claimed a royal correspondent. Meghan wore a Ralph and Russo couture gown for the photo shoot, with a see-through top over a nude lining and ruffled black skirt. Rana Mills criticized the Duchess for wearing a dress rumored to have cost £52,000 during the shoot, labelling it too much Hollywood starlet. Speaking on the Sky News podcast behind the headline, Miss Mills said, looking at a recent example, Prince Harry and Meghan's engagement portraits, which were photographs taken near Frogmore House where they had their reception. Meghan in that photograph was wearing a dress rumored to have cost £52,000. And in a number of the newspapers you saw widespread criticism of that, how can she be wearing a dress that's worth more than some people's houses, this is ridiculous. And actually I think she did put a foot wrong with that one. I think maybe that was too much Hollywood starlet, not enough future duchess. But then on the other hand you see her stepping out wearing a Marks and Spencer's sweater. So it's going to be interesting to see how she fits into this new world. Meghan has been the protagonist of criticisms from royal fans and royal commentators in the past months, with many complaining about her decision to keep birth plans for baby Archie a secret. These comments were fueled by unnamed royal insiders claiming the Duchess was being difficult and dictatorial with members of her staff. Royal expert Ingrid Seward suggested the Duchess behavior sparked concern among senior members of the staff. Miss Seward said, I don't think the royal family are ready for any feminist comments at all. Some of the more old-fashioned courtiers recoil when they see some of the things that Meghan says. It's likely they feel they might get into trouble because she might be putting her feet into the political abyss. Meghan Markle gave birth to son Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor on May 6, and has only been seen in public once since she became a mother. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex brought baby Archie to his first official photo call at St George's Hall at Windsor Castle on May 8 where the world got to see the couple's son for the first time. The Duchess is expected to join the royal family for Trooping the Colour on Saturday, June 8. Trooping the Colour marks the official birthday of Queen Elizabeth II and the event has celebrated the British sovereign for more than 260 years. The event will see 1,400 parading soldiers, 200 horses and 400 musicians come together in a great display of military precision, horsemanship and fanfare. The Duchess of Sussex is currently on maternity leave but could return early in order to celebrate the official birthday of baby Archie's great-grandmother.